Hey, what's up guys? John here. A lot of people don't know what's happening, but in the last 48 hours, it seems like they're hiking property taxes across the entire country, and no one's really talking about this. You know, it's, it's pretty crazy to me that you'd hike property taxes at a time when interest rates are going up, home insurance is going up, utility bills are going up, food costs are going up, and gas is going up, and the world's getting a hell of a lot harder for the everyday American, but yet they're going to strip more money out of their pockets. Now, what I think is gonna happen here is I think we're gonna see some very, very big changes across the real estate market. And if you wanna stay up to date with the real estate market, what's going on in the economy, hit the subscribe button. You're gonna get content here you won't get anywhere else, that's for sure. Hit the like button, share it with a friend. What's happening right now, it's crazy, because this is just the last 48 hours. I'm gonna share with you some information. Amendment one would guarantee a $2,100 property tax hike to the typical Illinois family, right? The proposed change to the Illinois Constitution, so they want to change the Constitution to effectively transfer power over taxpayer money to a government worker union, right? So all the tax revenue would then start going to a government working union. The trend of property tax hikes would likely grow even worse during the next four years. Date, June 15th, right? Okay. And this is the breakdown. 2023, $207. 2024, 422 bucks. 2025, $645. 2026, $876. You can see the trend here, right? <laughs> Four-year total, $2,149. So if it continues at this current rate, then 2027 would probably be somewhere around $1,000, right? So Salt Lake City, June 15th, same date, Salt Lake City Council approves a $1.5 billion budget, including a 25% increase in police budget hikes in property tax, right? Okay, the property tax increase will result in $130.45 per year increase on residential property valued at $520,000. Well, Salt Lake City is probably one of the biggest real estate bubbles in the country right now, so that's probably almost every property. And the budget includes increases of 15% for four utilities, sewer, water, stormwater, and waste collection. It will help the city keep pace with its growing cost of providing services, right? Okay, and the, bud the budget reflects the city's commitment to affordable and deeply affordable housing amounting to dedicating just over 20 million for this purpose, okay, 2.1 million for sustainability to carry out several climate energy and food equity projects to further SLC's environmental goals. Okay, $100,000 for free bus passes. Okay, next one, Texas, May 4th. This came out, you know, six weeks ago. Property taxes go up in Texas, everyone knows about this. June 14th, this was yesterday. So June 14th, New York City Homeowner Coalition raises alarm about property taxes. A coalition of homeowners, renters, and social justice organizations Tuesday objected to a decision by the New York City Council to raise property taxes nearly 7%. So they're moving in this direction. They're objecting now, but they're moving in this direction. It's gonna, this is all gonna happen, we all know this. If we look at what's happened in New York for the last couple of years for these small businesses. It's been a financial bloodbath for them. It's been it's one regulation, one restriction, one problem and headache after the next in New York. And New York City is one expensive market to live in, and especially to run a business in with all the restrictions and everything that they're doing there. Now, what I think is gonna happen next in New York is I think that they're gonna just, they're gonna continue moving in this direction and something's gonna get solidified. It might not be 7%, it might be 5%, but the next year, you know how they do it. They'll negotiate and they'll come to a, you know, a fair middle ground and then they just keep moving the needle forward, right? They'll just keep moving it forward. Forest City homeowners brace for a major possible tax hike. This is June 14th, right? Okay, Forest, this is North Carolina. After decades of enjoying the lowest property tax rates in the region, Forest City homeowners and anyone who owns land or commercial property in the city may see their tax taxes double, double. The practices have allowed the town of Forest City to suppress property tax rates, allowed surrounding municipalities, even as amenities and services expanded, right? This budget was balanced on a tax rate of 59 cents per $100 valuation. And so what this will look like is that a homeowner with a $200,000 home now pays around $560 with the current city tax rate of 29 cents per $100 valuation. The bill would double to about $1,180 if proposed 59 cent tax rate is approved. Now you have to ask yourself, well, what would property taxes doubling look like? Some people would say, John, they'll just sell the property. If they have to sell it, they have to sell it. What people aren't realizing is that who are they, who are they gonna sell it to? Because if interest rates went from 2.85 or 3% to six and a half to 7% where they really are now, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna get harder to get approved for these properties, right? So they're gonna, the lender is gonna look at the debt to income ratio for the buyer. They're gonna say, okay, well, the interest rates are this, so you'd have to make this. The new homeowner's insurance is X, you have to make that. 
and now the property taxes are going up. So for someone to actually get approved and qualify to buy one of these properties, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder going forward than it was in the past, right? Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, look at the date here, June 14th, Myrtle Beach, City Council approves $292 million budget with property tax increase, right? Myrtle, if you own property in the city of Myrtle Beach, your property tax will be going up soon. The Myrtle Beach City Council approved the final reading for a $292 million budget for fiscal year 2023. The approved budget includes increases to property taxes, stormwater fees, and parking fees. The property tax increased from 78 mil to 88 mil, which means a person who owns a $250,000 home will pay $100 more on their property taxes for a commercial space valued over a million. It will be a $600 increase, right? Well, commercial space, what are they gonna do? They're gonna push it down to their commercial tenants. That's as they normally do. And then the commercial tenants are gonna push down the cost to the customers. And if they can't push those costs down, they're gonna close, close up shop. Penn Trafford, this is PA, Pennsylvania, raises property taxes 1.5 mil. This is June 14th, right? June 14th, Penn Trafford property tax owners will pay more school taxes under a $63 million budget that raises the real estate mileage by 1.5 mil in the Westmoreland County portion of the district, an increase of less than 2%. All right, and the final budget earmarks the revenue, about 300,000 for capital projects, the money generated half a mil for general operating costs in the budget. The board opted to tap in the district's fund balance of 650K to the general budget, right? But look at, look at just a little search here, Google property tax hike. Just in the last couple days, all of these different, you know, Overland, um, Illinois I just covered, Ringwald, or Ringgold, right? Petition submitted to put St. Paul property tax hike on preschool expansion, New York City homeowner collision, what I just mentioned, White Bluff, right? Forest City homeowners, Maury Counter leaders, weigh in proposed property tax hike, Erie School District, uh, King County property tax hike, land conversation heads for voters, right? This is happening everywhere. This is happening everywhere. They're moving in this direction to increase property taxes. The 2021, but it's not all bad. You, there, there are some things you can do right now. So the 2021 tax bill jumped to $9,275.11, a nearly 30% increase. The homes assessed value also jumped over 100000 in 2021. If you have not recently purchased a home and qualify for the homestead exemption, Carl said, you are protected from a drastic increase to save our home cap. So what, where you can do a homestead, you could do it in Florida, you can do it in Texas. And the homestead exemption is gonna issue you some types of protections when it comes to property tax hikes. It's gonna offer you a lot of things. I mean, even if you got into a, a lawsuit or any type of problem, you would be able to uh, generally use your homestead to protect yourself from creditors, from, it, it, it offers you a lot of benefits. So what I think is likely gonna happen here is I think that if people pay attention to the trends and we see that gas and everything is only gonna be continuing to go up and home insurance is only gonna continue to go up, the key right now is to try to get a house and pay it off as soon as possible and ideally homestead it. Like that would be the ideal situation is to get a property paid off and homestead. Or, you know, if you want to live in one of these lo locations, just make sure that you can afford what's going to be coming. Because to me, it looks like they're just going to continue increasing and increasing and increasing these property taxes. There's no doubt about it. And it's just, to me, it seems like a very interesting time to do this. Why would they increase property taxes now when everything else is going up, right? It's almost as if people are just getting intentionally pushed into financial hardship. What do you think about this entire situation? What do you think about the rising property taxes? Do you think this is gonna happen and be a growing trend all throughout America? Drop your comments below. How is it gonna impact real estate? What do you think? Do you think the time to buy real estate is gonna be in 2023, 2024, as people really start just turning over their keys? They're, just, they're not gonna be able to make good on these payments. I don't see it. Not as interest rates continue rising at the rate that they are and everything else continues to follow the same trend. Drop your comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, or else subscribe to my second channel. And it's going to be an interactive call-in show, a podcast this upcoming week. The link is pinned down below in the top comment. And if you need help with your credit score, increasing your credit score, you want to make money on YouTube, get on the YouTube grind with me, cashnow.video. You want to learn about real estate? Cashnow.video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.